We are actually in Zagreb in Croatia. We just landed and I'm so excited to be here. After a very long travel day, I'm exhausted, but I'm just over the moon. I'm so excited to explore this new city. We are only here for one day, so we're gonna hit all the major spots. I think we're gonna walk up to Old Town in a few minutes, so we're just gonna get ready and go and do that. And I will bring you all with me. Let's go. But before we go out, I want to show you a little bit of our super cute apartment that we rented for the night. My room was painted in a gorgeous green and was covered in amazing glass antiques and paintings. Our living room is also very sweet, perfect for having a cup of tea and watching the birds out of the large windows. Next, we headed to the famous Cheshik Square, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, <laughs> which is in the heart of the city and only a few minutes from our house. It is surrounded by bright, candied colored buildings and was so beautiful. We were starving after all of the flights, so we decided to wander until we saw a restaurant that looked good. No planned agenda. We stumbled across a wine and cheese bar specializing in Croatian cheese and wine pairings. And as a family who owns a cheese store, we had to stop. They served us fresh bread, olives, and four mature cow's milk cheeses made locally with truffle, hazelnuts, and olives. We stumbled across a crepery and the heavenly scent of forest berries and cream was impossible to say no to, so we had a quick dessert. After all the food and jet lag, we decided to have a cup of tea before turning in for the night. Good morning, it is the next day. As you can see, last night we didn't do too much exploring. We got very, very tired, so we headed home and I took a bath and crashed. But it is the next day, so we are going to go do some more exploring. I just made a cup of coffee and we are going to head out in just a minute before heading to the airport later today to head to Dubrovnik. So yeah, let's go. We started our second day in Zagreb by heading to the world's smallest funicular that connects the downtown with the old town. It reminded me of a Wes Anderson film, which I love. To stretch our legs, we decided to walk the steps along the side of the tracks by the funicular rather than riding it, and I'm so glad that we did. There were all kinds of flowers. There was funky art on the walls and beautiful views along the way, especially at the top. We even stumbled across a beautiful fig tree overlooking the city. The figs were not quite ripe, but were stunning nonetheless. After the funicular, it is a short and beautiful walk to the famous churches of St. Catherine Alexandria and St. Mark's Church. St. Mark's Church was built in the mid-13th century and almost looks like it has a woven roof. It's so intricate and unique, I've never seen anything like it. I highly recommend getting here early to avoid tourists and for the beautiful light. We continue to wander aimlessly and following the scent of fresh bread, found ourselves in a tunnel filled with candlelight. There was an entrance to a church, plaques on the walls, and a dutiful woman cleaning the prayer candles. 
Every passerby made the sign of the cross before carrying on. The last stop on the walk was an accidental visit to the stunning Zagreb Farmer's Market in front of the Zagreb Cathedral. If you know me, you know there are a few things I love more than exploring new markets and talking to producers. Unfortunately, we were in a rush to head to the airport, so we grabbed a couple of apricots and strawberries before heading back to our apartment. Well, we are packing up in Zagreb. We are getting ready to leave. We're going to the airport. It was a quick 24 hours. And now we are flying down to Dubrovnik, which I am so excited about. I don't know if any of you have watched Game of Thrones, but I absolutely loved it. And that is where King's Landing was shot. And I'm super excited to see the city wall, so <laughs> yeah. I guess let's get ready to go and I'll take you with me to the airport. I can't believe I live in your thoughts. Zagreb Airport was absolutely wonderful. It was practically deserted. They had a lovely little cocktail bar and comfortable seating. Our check-in and bag drop only took us five minutes, which was amazing after so many travel days. And after only 45 minutes in the air, we landed in Dubrovnik. In next week's episode, 